Hey guys, my name is George and welcome to this new Ruby tutorial. Um, today what we're going to do is that we're going to learn how to ask uh, Ruby some questions by passing it as uh, some variables. Now this is really interesting what we can do with Ruby right now. So I will make a simple script over here so you can guys uh, follow me with this script and we will learn how to uh, get Ruby to interpret our variables. So basically we can ask uh, Ruby some questions or we can do uh, well, a lot of stuff. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. First, what I'm going to do is that in this script, I'm going to ask uh, for the user's name. So for doing that, I will just say, "Tell me your name." Okay. So that's really simple for now. If we run the script, we, we will only get this uh, message over here. However, I want the user to respond to this message. So for doing that, uh, first we are going to create a variable called name so we can have a place uh, when we can store uh, the name of the user. So I will just uh, say name and then I will say equals and there is a function in Ruby called gets and gets basically what it does is that it receives uh, input from the user. This can be a name, this can be a simple message, it, it can even be a file and well, m many kind of stuff. So we will just type in gets for now and after that I will respond with uh, the variables itself. So we can see that it is actually responding to this uh, input over here. So go ahead and save this message, this uh, message, sorry, this uh, script. And uh, now we will run the script. This, my script is called input.rb. So I will run it now. And we can see that the program is asking me for my name. So I will respond to it. And we will say that the, uh, we see over here that the program, the script is actually responding with my name. So that's uh, really interesting. Now, uh, let's make this program a little bit more human uh, for saying so and um, let's say hi and I will basically uh, do a, a response over here with the, the user's name so I'm saying hi uh, whatever your name is my name is Ruby okay so go ahead and save this program and now we're going to run it and we will respond with our name and you will see something really interesting that we say uh, hi George and then in another line we say my name is Ruby so this is because uh, when gets uh, capture your name or or your input it also captures uh, well another line like a skip line like when you hit enter over there so that's basically what uh, Ruby is capturing over here so for avoiding that you need to use a function called chomp so for that you need to write get and then write dot and write chomp just like that and basically this is going to cut our string so it can be just the pure string so basically I'm going to run so you can see for yourselves and you will see now all the results in one line. Now there is something uh, really important to remember right now that we're passing uh, basically only a strings. So what will happen if you wanna uh, pass in some number and, and perform I don't know some mathematical operation? For example, you can uh, subtract uh, two numbers. So so I'm going to change uh, this program. I'm going to make it different. I'm going to ask for a number tell me a number and then over here tell me another number I'm going to store these numbers in variables in X and Y so I'm going to say X equal gets dot chump and then Y equals gets dot chump okay and then I'm going to perform a mathematical operation which is a result equals x minus y and I'm going to respond to the user with that result just like that okay now we're going to see something really interesting happen over here and, and now I'll, I will explain why if we're on the program we will say for example 5 and then 4 and the result that you're going to get is going to be like a mistake. Uh, why? Because 
you can perform a subtraction between two strings and that's because uh, these variables are not numbered. Ruby uh, understands these variables as strings so you need to change that and you, and you need to tell Ruby hey Ruby these variables they are numbers and the way to do that is that when you call the get function if you wanna interpret this uh, variable as a number you need to use another function that will transform uh, this uh, string to the equivalent uh, number and this only works uh, when you actually input some numbers if you write strings this one will not work but uh, so you can change your program and you can say get jump and then write another dot and write two and underscore i and this is basically what it, it means it means i will get this string and, and i will transform it to a integer so this now can be interpreted as a integer number so I can change my program uh, like that. I will save the file. If you run the program right now, now we will tell them uh, a number, for example, six, and then I will say four, and I will get the result x minus y is two. So now we can understand these numbers as what they are, numbers, not strings. So that's really important. Now, if you wanna uh, play with uh, floating numbers, I mean like decimal numbers, you can just change the i to f, which stands uh, for float, uh, which are basically decimals numbers. And uh, you can run the program, and you will get this uh, uh, result in a decimal format. So you can run uh, the program and say four, six, and four, and you will get 2.0. Oh, um, that's because now. Ruby is uh, handling these variables as floating numbers. So basically, what we can do is that we can ask uh, for, um, you know, to subtract uh, actual decimal numbers. For example, uh, 6.34 uh, uh, and then 2.09, and you can get a decimal result such as that. So I think that's uh, going to be all for today. I hope you guys uh, really liked this tutorial. Uh, if you like the video, please don't forget to click on the uh, like button below. And you can also leave some comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can subscribe to my channel so I can make uh, more videos. So I guess that's all. See you later, guys. Have a good night.